love. So today we're gonna do a tutorial with the Soul Tree palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I asked you guys on Instagram, which I'm gonna pull up right now, which palette out of this one or the new nudes. And at 58%, the Soul Tree palette definitely won. Um, yes, British Baking Show, holiday edition. I was so excited. I watched all of it. It was only two episodes, but they should do it again. But yeah, 58%, so Soul Tree is definitely winning. So we are going to do a Soul Tree palette look today. I already have my base on and my brows per usual just because I am stuck in the same routine. I will do my best to link that down below for you. If not, it is just the most recent foundation routine on my channel. All right, so we are going to hop into it, but before we do, please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to do my contour blush and highlight real quick because why not? I'm just going to use my Revolution Ultra Contour Kit because it's my fave. It's my ride or die. It's better to just go with what you know is going to work sometimes and I just ain't nobody got time for this. I don't have anything, any contour palettes that are new anyway that I want to try, so let's just buff this into them cheeks, girl. Okay, let's try a different Lumi blush today. We're going to try the one in Wine. So pretty. So this is the one that I've absolutely been loving. This is Ravish. So this is Wine. But here, we'll try this one. Why not? I hope it's as glowy as Ravish. Let's try this one. Ooh, ooh, I see the glow. That's good. That's all I ask for is like, ooh, this one's more pigmented than, than Ravish. <laughs> I like your face. Let's use this guy today to use something different. So this is the ColourPop Give Me More highlighter palette. I think it's available again. I don't know. Or I know I need to mix the white one. Maybe the white and the pink. Ooh, she pretty. Okay, just the white one now. I mixed them and I went back with the white. I'm just gonna go back with my blush brush and kind of blend it a little bit in the center of my cheeks. And then when I forget to do this, I feel like it just doesn't look as melted into my skin. So I'm just taking my damp beauty sponge. Oh my goodness, okay, can we talk about this packaging? This has gotta be the most beautiful packaging on a palette I think ever, ever. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. Let me get this brush out. I love these brushes. I'm always stoked to have another one. The palette looks like, I'm not sure what I even wanna do. I really want to start with birch. The warmest shade probably in the palette, I think, is this guy right here. So we're just going to start with that guy because, you know, your girl likes to. I love mixing warm and cool shades, though. I don't know. It's just a thing. So I'm just going to buff this into the crease. Ugh, I just love Anastasia's shadows, seriously. Nothing blends faster or easier, I swear. I'm going to bust out that brush that came in it and take that same birch shade and put it on the lower lash line. We'll just go right in with that guy. Dystopian, this dark, dark brown. I guess I'll just use this brush for now. And I'm just going to place it on this outer corner and blend it in. Focusing most of the color out here. I usually do small circles and then blend in. I'm gonna flip the brush to the other side and just take some of that pigment. I guess of that shadow. And when I use that side of the brush, it really packs it on and keeps it in the right place. And then I'm gonna blend it with my, with the blender side. So you can see where it's at. And I'm actually gonna take a tiny bit more of birch to buff this out. I like doing that sometimes. I think I'm gonna take a, just a tiny bit of noir, the black, with the flat side of this brush really tap it off and just place it right out there as well keeping it deep i'm going to take a little bit of fresh this matte cream shade buff out the brow bone i'm going to go ahead and take swerve from color pop it's my favorite black liner so i'm just going to pop it on my lower lash line and waterline right out here All right the outer like third. I'm just gonna buff it out with that little side of the brush. I think we should do a cut crease today because I'm feeling like it. I'm just gonna use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in 0 0.5. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the back of my hand. I'm just going to put it along my lash line and then look up. And that's gonna give me where I need to put my cut crease to. Same thing on this eye. Now I'm just going to tap that concealer on my lid. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna start with Cyborg. I don't know if we're gonna use other ones, but that's just the one that I want to use first. Fingertip, I think. I just feel like it sticks so much better when you use your fingertip. You just get so much more pigment and just packs it on. And it's like, bam, you're done. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. I almost want to put the tiniest bit of rose quartz, which is another super glittery one. Maybe I'm just going to pile them on. I'm going to put the tiniest bit of rose quartz right in the center. I'm going to take a tiny bit of pearl. This guy. Oh, oh. I'm back with this tiny little brush from Luxie. I love this kit. It came in my BoxyCharm. Uh, mini flat angled. And I'm just going to take the tiniest, tiniest bit of dystopian. That dark, dark brown. And I'm just going to run it right along the edge of that. To bring back that cut crease. Because that shimmer kind of gets up in there. I think I want to take the tiniest bit of bronze bell and I say tiny bit, but we know it probably won't be a tiny bit um, from Stila. It's one of the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows. It's just the most beautiful cool tone bronze. If you can even, it's like a bronze, but like the glitter in it looks silvery and like, I don't know, somehow it appears cool tone to me. I'm just going to tap a tiny bit on and then tap it out. I'm gonna do a wing per use. Um, I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black along with some of the Revolution Renaissance Flick. I always wanna say line and flick, but that's like forever ago. I like the precision of this one, but I like the blackness of this one. We are going to put on some mascara and lashes, whatever mascara works, because we are putting on lashes. So these are the lashes I'm going to use today. Bronze Beauty. Girl, all the Vegas Nay and Allure lashes are gorgeous, so I'm excited to try these ones. So I'm going to pop on that mascara and lashes, and I will be right back. All right, love, so this is what we are looking at. I'm going to add something to the inner corner, I think. Pretty sure I'm going to do pearl because pearl is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like on the daily, that's going to be like my go-to lid shade out of this palette. So I'm taking it from the corner. I'm going to use a little bit of diamond dust from Stila. This one is like, oh, it's like dried out, which is sad because it's the one I use the most. So I'm going to have to get a new one because I love this thing so much. It's just like the silver glitter one. And I use it 10,000 times more than I thought I would. All right, we need to do lips. I'm going to do a nude because your girl's feeling nude today. Um, I think I want to use Exclusive. I'm going to use the Chauffeur Lip Liner from Evolution with Exclusive. I love this combination. All right, love. So I think this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked it. I am loving this palette. Those lid shades are so pretty. Oh my goodness, so pigmented, so metallic. I love it, I love it. I think I'm gonna actually end up really loving this palette, which I knew would happen. I knew even though I like told myself I didn't need it, I knew once I had it, I would love it. Um, I cannot wait to use it. I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing it almost every day. And I love that there is that warm transition shade. So if I need a little bit of warmth in my makeup look, I have it um, in that palette. And of course I can mix and match palettes, but I love having a complete palette where I can just grab one palette do my makeup look and be good to go. I just love it. So I'm really pleased with this palette. Let me give you one more look at, because I feel like we didn't really get a solid look at it, but look how beautiful it is. All of those metallic shades are so pigmented. Um, the only one that I had a little bit of an issue with was Dystopian. I just felt like it wasn't blending as well as it could have, um, as well as Anastasia shadows normally do. Definitely like it, definitely approve. I mean, I love Anastasia shadows. If you do, you're probably gonna love this palette. Um, Modern Renaissance and Soft Glamour, two of my favorite palettes of all time. Definitely two of my very most used palettes. So I think that's everything. Let me know what kind of look you guys wanna see next. I think that I'm gonna try and film with the Huda Beauty new nudes palette and then I still need to do a Belle Jordan look. Again, I'm going to try and bust out as many videos as I can over winter break. But yeah, okay, I think that's everything. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it if you could and please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Let's see. Let's see. Focusing most of the... the, the, the it. <laughs>
And now the other thing on the other eye, I mean, what? now the same thing on my other eye. I'm just gonna use my, why can't I think of words? Makeup revolution. Oh, so pretty. Do it. What? She's gonna jump on the back of the chair. You know what? Yep, there she is. Always, hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, look at these giant hoops. Every time I have to say it, the bigger the hoop, bigger the hoe. <coughs> Why do I always breathe it in? I always breathe it in. Learn to keep your mouth shut for a minute, Shannon. Get it together. 